I've got a, a crew of men and machines waiting on me to go to work, and uh, I've got to eat pretty fast and get on the ball. That's a $25,000 antique grand player piano. And those are the only two songs I know. This rock that I'm standing on, they call this basement rock of the earth. This is a hard blue granite which contains veins within it that contain the emeralds. Now that we got the track hoe fixed, David can get to work on loading the dynamite. This is the uh, ammonium nitrate and fuel oil, it's called ANFO for short. It's the main thing to use. I use a Unimax nitro to detonate it. There is no cheap, easy way to do what we do here. Explosives are the most efficient, costly way to find the valuable emeralds that we seek. This is the good stuff. This contains nitroglycerin. Some people can't handle it because it's, it, it goes into your skin. It gets into your bloodstream. It gives some people migraine headaches. And some people won't use it just because of that. But for what I need to do out here, it's the best thing I can find. And don't drop it. One by each hole. One by each hole all the way up to that blue bucket. That's a lot of dynamite. That's a lot of TNT. Let's go ahead and load this before we lay out any more. These are the detonators. This is what makes it go off. And the reason we poke holes in the dynamite first is because we don't want to bend the detonator. If you, you bend don't, it, it's your last one, ain't it? Well, it can send it off. <laughs> well, David's a total expert. He, he's the man with the plan. He knows what time it is, especially when it comes to high explosives. I place an exact amount of charge in each hole accordingly. Real men wear pink and then we put gravel in behind it to hold the charge in place so that when it goes off, it stays where it's at and don't shoot out the hole. When this shot goes off, <laughs> we're not gonna be standing anywhere around here, I can tell you that. We'll be, we'll be up in, an, in a uh, protected enclosed structure. I'm always in high anticipation on blast day because as soon as we push that button, it may be another million dollar day. was a success. As I walk through the smoke and crawl through the debris, I'm looking for any sign of the next emerald vein. We got this old water tanker from the late 60s. Right now we're in the process of siphoning up river water to wash the bedrock with of the deposit. We got all the way down here and we hooked up to the to the river pump. Uh, I sat there for almost 10 minutes, just cranking, 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 trying to get the thing fired up. Pump flat. Good. <laughs> the rock is good and clean. 
I'm able to literally read the rock and to see the signs within the rock that I'm looking for that may lead me to my next emerald vein and my next big emerald find. Well, it's got the chromium. It's got emerald green mica all in it. I can see where the emerald's trying to form. We gotta get to the pocket. As I was washing down the rock with the high pressure hose, all of a sudden a really good vein appeared. Okay. I got you figured out. He can't run from me. Hmm. Follow these lines. And then it started swelling right here. Something bigger right here. We had to take a, an army shovel and just start scraping back to get a good look at it. That, that, that's an emerald vein. That's a, that's a good one too. Yeah, that's a good one. Boy, that's good. That's strong. We're going to get some green out of this one. Now that David has softened up the hard rock around the vein, we'll take the big hydraulic hammer and break our way down, chisel our way down to try to get underneath this quartz. I feel like we're really getting close now because up under the water, although I can't see, I can feel structures like mineral structures forming within the vein itself. And that's what I want to feel, but I'm hoping it's about to pocket. And there's crystals right there. This is how it began as a child. I would go out in the woods, uh, creeks, pastures, cornfields, uh, places near my grandmother's home place and Look for areas that have been eroded out, like exposed soils, rocks. Road beds are great places to look for veins that could contain emeralds because like a steep old road bed, like this is an old logging road, who knows how old it is or how long it's been here, but there's been a lot of water and wash over this road over, you know, you know, a number of years. And what it has done is it is it exposed, it has exposed some like quartz material. That, that, I think that's emerald. I'm not kidding you. It's the quartz, it's the mica, we started hammering and poking at this thing. We followed the quartz down and sure enough it opened up. You can see the little the vein right here. It's funny. It's real thin right here. It's only that wide. It comes down and it goes up under there and then it blows out. Right here's the pocket. Look That's at that. perfect pocket material. Right oh yeah. There's an emerald in here. Just in case. Crystals. Oh, oh, shoot, go oh my God, look at this. Oh, that's great. Oh, God. Oh, Ooh. oh boy, look at that. <laughs> wow. It's a big old smoky. It had beautiful quartz crystals in the top of it. It was a pocket, indeed a pocket. Sometimes you just got to really work these pockets because you never know where they're going to be at. There's a lot of bagging, a lot of dirt, a lot of material, a lot of false alarms. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my God, we got emerald. Jesus. And down in the bottom we found a gorgeous emerald. Emeralds taste good. That's why I lick them when I find them. Green ice. This is what it's all about, these gorgeous, gorgeous green, green emeralds. This is what all those years of hard work and all the passion and all the heartaches, headaches, blood, sweat, and tears over the years, this is what it's all about. This is the treasure. Oh, got one, got one, got one, got one. Oh yeah. Part of one anyway, but it's, it's pretty, probably about five carats. 
definitely green. Nice little, nice little emerald piece here.